tuai pusong mai pak sisika ikilos papusa ina asa Oh
parang kay tagal na nating hindi nagsama-sama sa loob ng kusaling ito. Naalala niyo pa ba nung una tayong magtagpo-tagpo dito? Naalala niyo pa ba ang inyong mga baong pangarap nang una kayong tumuntong sa UP College of Music? Ang araw na ito ay araw ng tagumpay. Patunay na nakakamit din ang mga pangarap gaano man ito katayog at ano pa man ang humadlang. Hindi biro ang makarating kayo sa araw na ito, lalo na sa gitna ng kadilimang ating nararanasan ngayon. Kay daling iwaksi ng ating mga pangarap kapag naharap na sa matinding hamon. Sa okasyong ito, maririnig natin ang bukod tanging salaysay ng isa sa ating mga graduates, si Dr. Sam Ang Sam, ang ating panauhing pandangal. Simda lang ang pangarap ni Dr. Sam nang siya ay bata pa, ang maiangat ang kanyang pamilya at sarili mula sa kahirapan. At ang pangarap ng ito ang nagdala sa kanya sa UP College of Music bilang isang iskolar ng bayan ng Cambodia. Ngunit sa gitna ng pag-aaral niya dito sa UP, ano ba't para siyang sinakluban ng langit nang lumiyab ang digmaan sa kanyang bayan? Naputol ang kanyang sustento at nawalan siya ng komunikasyon sa kanyang mga pamilya. Ngunit hindi natinag ang kanyang mga pangarap at nakapagtapos siya ng BM Composition dito at nagpatuloy sa pag-aaral sa Amerika kung saan siya ay kinilala bilang isang eksperto sa musika ng Cambodia. Kung tutuusin na kamit na ni Dr. Sam ang lahat ng kanyang inaasam, ngunit napagtanto niya na may mas magiting pang pangarap bukod sa pangsarili. Nagpasya siyang iwan ang maaliwalas na buhay sa Amerika at magbalik sa kanyang bayan upang manilbihan. Tumulong siya sa paglililok ng isang bagong landas para sa kanyang bayan. Hindi dito nagtatapos ang inyong mga pagkarap. Bagkos sana'y simula pa ito ng mga bagong adhikain. Hindi mapagkakait na madilim pa rin ang ating hinaharap. Sa inyong pagsulong mula sa araw na ito, nais ko kayong pabaunan ng mga salita ng isang magiting na leader at tagapaglingkod. There is no reason to put your dreams on hold. In fact, you are called to pursue these dreams with even deeper resolve. To dream not only for yourselves and for your family, but for the last, the least, and the lost. Ang alab ng inyong imahinasyon at mga pangarap ang siyang gagabay sa ating lahat tungo sa isang maliwanag na bukas. Dagdag pa ng magiting na leader, when the path seems too difficult, remember that you were made for these times. Kayo, mga iskolar at mga musiko ng bayan, ang maglililok ng bagong landas. Napili ko ang music dahil dito ko nahanap ang aking gustong gawin sa buhay. Nagsimula lamang ito sa pagiging hobby ko, ngunit nagsilbing inspirasyon ng mga nagturo sa akin at nagpalalim ng pagpapahalaga ko sa musika para ipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral nito. Nais kong ipamahagi ang talento ang ibinigay sa akin sa pamamagitan ng panghihikayat ng mga kabataan sa pagpapahalaga sa musika kaya't gusto kong magturo pagkatapos ng aming graduation. Nais ko rin magsilbing inspirasyon sa mga kabataang may balak na kunin din ang music kagaya ko. Ako si Cheska Julia Kainglet, BM Music Education, maglililok ng bagong landas bilang iskolar at musiko ng bayan. Music kasi for some reason, alam ko na simula pa lang yung bata ako, na gusto ko talaga mag-music. It brings me a certain joy other hobbies and skills cannot. Kung ihahalin tulad ako sa isang bagay, siguro isa akong picture frame kasi doon nilalagay lahat ng mga gandang memories. Ako si Kathleen Nicole P. Cahis, 
BM Musicology, maglililok ng bagong landas bilang musiko ng bayan. Malugod naming kinikilala ang taus-pusong serbisyo ng tatlong kawani ng kalehiyo ng musika sa kanilang pagreretiro sa taong ito. Binibining Florinda Santos sa kanyang tunay na taus-pusong pag-aalay, paglilingkod at pagmamalasakit. Ang kanyang matyagang paghahanap at pag-alalay sa paghahanap ng mga programa, libro at dokumento mula sa silid aklata ng kolehiyo. Ang kanyang kagandahang loob ay mananatili sa alaala ng bawat isang kanyang nakasama. Binibining Elvira Briones Sa kanyang tunay na taos-pusong pag-aalay, paglilingkod, pagmamalasakit sa kolehiyo. Ang kanyang pagiging lola, tita at ate na kumakalinga sa lahat ay mananatili sa alaala ng bawat isang kanyang nakasama. Ginang Maria Concepcion Rongavilla Sa kanyang tunay na taos-pusong pag-aalay, paglilingkod at pagmamalasakit. Sa mahabang panahon ay pinamalas niya ang husay sa trabaho at dedikasyon sa kolehiyo. Ang kanyang kagandahang loob ay mananatili sa alaala ng bawat isang kanyang nakasama. Lubos ang aming pasasalamat sa kanilang matapat at mahusay na paglilingkod sa loob ng maraming taon na kanilang paninilbihan sa pamantasan. Uh, Dean Laverne de la Peña, Faculty of the College of Music, Parents, Dear Graduates, and Friends, Today, I'm going to introduce to you a person who is an extraordinarily talented artist with an extraordinary life and an extraordinary contribution to the field of music. Sam Ang Sam, yes, his name sounds unfamiliar to many of us, came to the University of the Philippines College of Music as a young, exceptionally gifted musician with a pretty young dancer wife, Molly, from the distant country of Cambodia. He first enrolled in composition, and he was doing quite well. As an aside, their first daughter was even born at St. Luke's, a few days apart with the birth of my second daughter, Waya. Then the war broke out in their native country, and most of the musicians and the in other intellectuals were annihilated by the dictator Pol Pot in a dreadful genocide, including the families of both Sam Ang and Molly. Cut off from their country and his scholarship, many of the faculty of the College of Music chipped in to assist them to survive. I know I donated a crib for their child, while Professor Leticia Del Valle helped them with their lodging. 
Dr. Rosia Maceda and I, and several of us, uh, asked Chinari Riung, a successful Cambodian composer in the U.S., to help in getting an immigration status for him. In short, he and his wife were able to go to the United States, and there he continued on with his studies in music. In order to make both ends meet, he would work on some odd jobs. He wrote to us that at one time, he worked in a restaurant as a dishwasher in order to get some extra pocket money. To make this remarkable story short, he finished a master's degree in composition in Connecticut College and a PhD in ethnomusicology at Wesleyan University. He then worked promoting Cambodian music and dance all over the American community until in 1994 he received one of the most prestigious grant awards in the U.S., the MacArthur Fellowship with a $150,000 benefit and the National Endowment for the Arts in 1998 for being part of the Aspara Ensemble in Cambodia, which promoted Cambodian performing arts. He came back to Cambodia as an American Cambodian citizen and taught at the Panisastra University, a very prominent institution in the revived Cambodia, where he now sits as the Chancellor, besides working in the Ministry of Culture, as well as writing more than 11 books and many more articles in both Cambodian and English in Cambodian music and the performing arts. In 2013, he was awarded the Medal of the Order of the Kingdom of Cambodia in the class of commander bestowed upon him by His Majesty, the King of Cambodia. In 2014, it was the Medal of the Order of Muni Isbarabarna in the class of Askaridha, or a knight that was awarded to him by His Majesty, the King of Cambodia. He became a visiting artist at the University of Washington, faculty of the Salzburg Seminar in Austria, faculty of the Royal University of Fine Arts in Cambodia, and a visiting professor at the National Museum of Ethnology in Osaka, Japan. He is presently the president of the Asia Pacific Society for Ethnomusicology. And so, my dear graduates, I would like his life to inspire you and give you courage in whatever else you do in your careers. What he has undergone and eventually accomplished are our incredible achievement in courage, determination, and awe-inspiring resolve to pursue his dreams in the field of the musical arts. And so, it is now my rare honor and privilege to introduce to you Dr. Samang Sam, a proud alumnus of the UP College of Music. Respected dignitaries, deans, faculty and staff, alumni, students, parents, family members and friends, and most especially our brand new graduates. Welcome to the 97 commencement exercises of the University of the Philippines College of Music. First of all, congratulations to all of you who are about to receive your diploma. This diploma is a testament to your intelligence, 
hard work and academic ethics. It is a reflection of the energy and effort you poured into your education. A UP diploma is not just given to you. Like anything that truly matters, it has to be earned, and each of you has earned it. My mission today, which I have chosen to accept, is to share with you my personal experience and to offer you a few words of wisdom as you prepare to take your next life journey and cow out a new path. While this is not a mission impossible, it is a daunting responsibility. Fortunately, it is one I have some experience with my own journey, which I would like to share. And I shall focus on three main points, adversity, triumph, and service. Life is indeed a journey, and I place my life journey in three periods. Period of quest on adversity, period of enlightenment on triumph, and period of realization on service and giving back. My journey took me from Cambodia to the Philippines, to the United States of America, then back to Cambodia, where I am now. Growing up as a child, seeing, experiencing, and witnessing how my parents struggled to raise their seven children with minimum means made me later realize and determine that I will never have to repeat and experience again that life with my own family. In the face of adversity, I must build myself a foundation on knowledge and experience. A vow that I then took was never be ignorant, poor, and filthy. Adversity, struggle, pain, and suffering give me strength as I was on a mission in search for building my foundation and life. From the Philippines on January 29, 1977, I set out to go and resettle myself in the United States of America with discipline, burning desire, and yielding determination, perseverance, and the sense of responsibility toward my immediate family who depends on me, I adopted a positive mental attitude that anything is possible and sky is the limit. Somehow at that age, I was 23 then, I trusted that I could do and make it. I challenged the adversity and the process while paying the price first. It was a personal journey in quest for a good life with freedom. Today, I do what I like and I like what I do. You are familiar with this phrase. The statement has two important qualities that I'm privileged to have. The first part, do what I like is freedom. And the second, like what I do is life. In America, working as hard as I could, I took my education opportunity very seriously. I am reminded that success belongs to the dreamers who are disciplined, persistent, and never give up on that promise. In 1989, I obtained my PhD, and in 1994, I went on to receive the prestigious MacArthur Genius Award of the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, recognizing and honoring my work and effort in community development and preservation of my culture. I'm deeply indebted to the generous support from the University of the Philippines, the Asian Cultural Council, the Social Science Research Council, and the MacArthur Foundation, which give me the sense of paying forward. In paying forward, I set out to build the next generation of my fellow Cambodians on education by founding a university teaching and mentoring them. At this stage of life, I would like to do something bigger than myself, beyond the self and ego for a higher purpose. As I have approached the end of my journey, I have realized good health as strength, capacity and weapon, virtue as compass, and the avoidance of ignorance, poverty and filthiness, the goals I set out at the start of my journey. With the right mindset, in the face of adversity, uncertainty and resiliency, I have risen above the clouds of darkness 
to the bright and breathing air of light. Throughout all those years of my school and work, there is one thing that always stands true. That is the core value that I choose to follow. These values have helped motivate me to change when necessary, relentlessly pursue innovative work, complete transformative projects, and I must be accountable and responsible in everything I do at all times. Even adversity and crisis provide the opportunity to think anew and the obligation to act anew. Yours is a once in decades chance to begin anew. Turn adversity into your advantage and become the stronger person today and tomorrow than you were yesterday before the pandemic. My fellow graduates, the world is yours to make better. Be a leader be it spiritual, state, corporate, family, or personal, to lead with wisdom, morality, compassion, loving kindness, and justice by way of vision, forward-looking, initiative, plan, action, integrity, and responsibility. Follow and live your passion and moral right. Wear a focused lens, not a bifocal one. You must act and deliver on value, principle, and morality. Think for yourself and do what is right. Remember that right is always right. Later, when you will be a leader in the real world, you must hold yourself accountable at the highest standard. Don't compromise on self and ego about principle. You must reflect upon the value of the institution that is the University of the Philippines that has built you the foundation, education, knowledge, experience, and strength. I consider myself a proud son and product of the UP College of Music, where I made a long four-year stopover on my journey. Be the embodiment of a position and an office, not a mere occupant. Here is what I would like to leave with you as you are about to embark on your life journey ahead, with some assuring words actually. You are now entering the era of artificial intelligence and competitive job market. Amidst this existential crisis, I know that some of you are questioning the meaning, purpose, and value of your life and might be impacted by it. The strange new world may be scary, but fine. Keep your head straight and up. Be patient and resilient for the time will tell and things will change for the stronger and better. I believe in the balance and coexistence of science, technology, and humanity. In closing, and with my most sincere gratitude, congratulations to you all, and may all of you succeed, progress, and advance well on your journey ahead. Thank you. Musika ang pinili ko dahil ito ang aking pangarap at ito ang aking gustong maging buhay. Dahil dito ako nagiging masaya. Inaaling tulad ko ang aking sarili sa isang libro na handang makapagbahagi ng kaalamanan at makapagbigay gabay sa iba. Pagkatapos ng aking graduation, ay gusto kong magturo lalo na sa mga bata at tumulong sa pagpapaunlad ng musika dito sa ating bayan. Ako si Hernan Manalastas, BM Clarinet. Maglililok ng bagong landas bilang eskolar at musiko ng bayan. Musika dahil ito ang bagay na labis na nagpapasaya sa akin. At nais kong maibahagi ang kasiyahang ito sa pamamagitan ng pag-awit. Inahahalin tulad ko ang aking sarili sa kawayan, matatag at handang makipagsabayan sa mga hamon ng buhay. Nais kong makapag-perform ng mas madalas pagkatapos ng graduation at nais ko ring magturo. Ako, si Nelson Borongan Jr., BM Voice, magililok ng bagong landas bilang scholar at musiko ng bayan. Bakit musika ang pinili ko? Kasi magsisisi ako kung hindi. Inihalin tulad mo ang sarili mo sa anong bagay. Pizza, plano ko ay gumawa at magbahagi ng musika at magturo. Ako si Dominic Laksamana, magililok ng bagong landas bilang scholar at musiko ng bayan.
maglilok ng bagong landas, tumanyag, sumulong. Para sa pagpapakilala sa mga magsisipagtapos, tinatawagan natin ang tagapagugnay ng mga programang digraduado, ang tagapagulo ng bawat departamento, at ang tagapagugnay ng programang graduado. Kikilalanin din natin ngayon ang mga magsisipagtapos ng may karangalan sa bawat departamento. Magandang hapon sa kanilang lahat. Mahal naming dekano, Dr. Vern de la Peña. Ikinagagala ko pong ipakilala sa inyo ang tatlong putatlong magsisitapos ng Associate in Arts of Music. To all our graduates, allow me to share this quote. Understand that one day you will have the power to make a difference. So use it well. Kayo ang maglililok ng bagong landas, tumanyag, sumulong, mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng mid-year 2020, Christian Yubel de Jesus Aquino. Nagtapos ng first semester 2020-2021, Maria Aliana Enriquez Antonio. Corden March Beltran Brillante. Bienvenido Clarianes Jr. Anne Charlotte Parcaso Copiaco. Loriel Cavardo Dolorosa. Christine Lorraine Tariga Ferrer. Kekin Ma Daniel Jan Duques Mangapit Charles Daniel Bonus Maranya Geoffrey Serafin Golia Pangilinan Sheila Angela Reyes Reyes Mark Chester Bernardino Rivera Edward Serrano Sarondo Patricia Ann Bautista Shrivers Arvin Ian Kamantige Sumagi Isaac Pizarro Villarez Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021 Juan Diego Veneracion Alcudia Maria Natalia Tagle Duque Maria Katrina Santiago Fernando Noel Melad Gahete David Israel Ruelos Gonzaga Brandon Benedict Ardina Gonzalez Larin Cleope Lazo Elvin Vecina Lozande Daniel Lizaso Orca Lance Joseph Victorino Pacifico Jason Masaredo Panuncio Chris Alan Castillo Sumage Chris Alan Castillo Sumage Rainier Padilla Trinidad Leon Vicente Manlogon Victoriano Katrina Evangel Lintag Villaflor Mahal naming dekano, buong yabang at kagalakan kong ipinakikilala ang mga magsisipagtapos mula sa Departamento ng Komposisyon at Triorya. Mga batang kompositor na sasabak sa mundo ng musika at magbibigay karangalan sa ating kuleyo, pamantasan at bayan. Kayong mga kabataan, kayo ang maglililok ng bagong landas. Tumanyag, sumulong 
mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Ryle Nicole Quilosa Custodio, BM Composition. Dominic Senguia Laksamana, BM Composition. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Dr. Ul Sinavaro, tagapangulo ng Conducting and Choral Ensemble Department. Ang panahong ito ay pagsisimula para sa mga magsisipagtapos. Pagsisimulang humawa ng landas para sa kanilang kinabukasan. Pagsisimulang hubukin ang kanilang kapalaran. Kung ano't ano paman, nuway huwag kalimutan ang kapakanan ng Bayang Pilipinas. Mahal na dekano Laverne de la Peña, ikinararangal kong idulog sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos na mga kursong Diploma in Creative Performing Arts at Bachelor of Music in Choral Conducting. Dalawa ang magkakamit ng karangalang cum laude at mania cum laude. Kayong magsisipagtapos ang maglililok ng bagong landas sa kinabukasan. Tumanyag, sumulong kayong mga musiko ng bayan. Salamat po. Nagtapos ng first semester 2020-2021, Calvin Tabuso Capacete, DCPMA Choral Conducting. Nagtapos ng may karangalan, Antonio Maria Punsalan Kayabyab, BM Choral Conducting, Magna Cum Laude. Kelbert Mekino Sinfuego, BM Choral Conducting, Cum Laude. Dekano, ikinagagat akong ipakilala sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos ng Diploma in Creative and Performing Musical Arts at Bachelor of Music. Higit na mas mahalaga sa panahon ngayon ang tungkulin nating mga guro at kayong mga bagong guro ng musika ang maghihilong at magpapayabong ng tunay na pagkatao. Kayo ang maglililok ng bagong landas. Tumanyag, sumulong mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng first semester 2020-2021, Hana Isabel Bulahan Antonio, DCPMA, Music Education. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Val Dominic Kalima Gagatiga, DCPMA, Music Education. Beverly Monique Yara Heguera, DCPMA, Music Education. Chris Jefferson Antonio Feria, BM Music Education. Mga nagtapos ng may karangalan, Cheska Julia Akuba Kainglet, BM Music Education, Cum Laude. Jasmine Danica Valerio Casas, BM Music Education, Magna Cum Laude Jana Revi Barilio Inoferio BM Music Education Cum Laude Gracial Igual Tumanda BM Music Education Cum Laude Mahal naming dekano Mahigit na isang taon na ang lumipas mula ng pagsapit ng pandemya at ang paghasik nito ng ilang radikal na pagbabago sa pag-aaral ng musika. Bagamat tigib ng paghamon, ikinagagalap kong ipakilala ang mga magsisipagtapos mula sa Departamento ng Musikolohiya. Isa sa Asian Music, Diploma in Creative Musical Arts o DCPMA noong mid-year 2020, at dalawa sa Bachelor of Music and Musicology sa second semester 2019-2020. Sa inyong pagtuloy na paglakbay, sana ay inyong isabuhay lagi ang natatanging paghubog sa inyo ng Kolehiyo ng Musika at ng Universidad ng Pilipinas, di lamang sa larangan intelektual at mapanlikha, kundi pati at lalo sa serbisyo sa kapwa at bayan. Congratulations and all the best. 
Kayo ang maglililok ng bagong landas, tumanyag, sumulong, mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng mid-year 2020, Andre Dominique Baldonado Henito, DCPMA Asian Music. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Marla Isabel Hega Anyonuevo, BM Musicology. Kathleen Nicole Perez Cahis, BM Musicology. Mahal naming dekano, sa ngalan ng buong kaguruan ng Departamento ng Teklado, ikinararangal at ikinalulugod kong ipakilala sa inyo ang mga nagsisipagtapos na binubuo ng anim sa programang Diploma in Creative and Performing Musical Arts at isang cum laude sa programang Bachelor of Music. Sa mga bagong pianista ng ating bayan, humayo kayong dala ang pag-asa, karunungan, giting, tapang, at proteksyon ng poong may kapal. Kayo ang maglililok ng bagong landas. Tumanyag, sumulong, mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng mid-year 2020, Mark Joseph Macalinao Sacramento, DCPMA Piano. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Julian Kyle Soliman Aquino, DCPMA Piano. Julian Vanessa Picho Kasyanan, DCPMA Piano. John Paul Martinez Del Rosario, DCPMA Piano. Mara Lay Sevilla Guevara, DCPMA Piano. Lorenzo Martin Buendia Torres, DCPMA Piano. Nagtapos ng may karangalan, Gladys Rene Bokingo. Kalubiran, BM Piano Cum Laude. Mahal naming dekano, ikinararangal at taas na uko pong ipinapakilala sa inyo ang mga magsisipagtapos mula sa Departamento ng Strings at Chamber Music na kinabibilangan ng apat na mga mag-aaral mula sa programang Diploma in Creative and Performing Musical Arts at Bachelor of Music. Isa ang magkakamit ng karangalang cum laude. Sa loob ng isang taon, ang mga nakaugalian at nakagawian nating landas tungo sa pagbuo ng bayan ay unti-unti nang nagbago at ang ilan dito ay tuluyan ng nawala. Subalit, lubos kaming naniniwala na kayong mga nagsisipagtapos ang magdililok ng bagong landas. Tumanyag, sumulong, mga musiko ng bayan. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Joaquin Paulo Belen Rodriguez, DCPMA Instruments Strings. Miguel Adrian De Los Santos, BM Instruments Strings. Hyuna Lee, BM Instruments Strings. Nagtapos ng may karangalan, Angelica Barce Arellano, BM Instruments Strings Cum Laude. Mahal naming dekano, buong galak kong ipinapakilala at ipinagmamalaki ang mga magsisipagtapos mula sa Departamento ng Voice, Music Theater, and dance. Walo ang magtatapos sa programang Diploma in Creative Performing Musical Arts at walo rin ang magtatapos mula sa programang Bachelor of Music, Major in Voice, at Major in Dance. Dalawa ang cum laude, isang magna cum laude, at isang suma cum laude. Sa paglabas nyo ng universidad, naway patuloy ninyong mahatid ng mahusay at nang may karangalan ang mensahe ng mga musika at galaw na inyong pinibigyang buhay. 
ipagpatuloy nyo ang inyong sinimulan. Dahil kayo ang maglilinok ng bagong landas, kaya tumanyag, sumulong mga iskolar, musiko at mananayaw ng bayan. Nagtapos ng first semester 2020-2021, Colleen Herschel Silverio de Guzman, BM Voice. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Edwin Jillian Itum Azurin, DCPMA Voice. Margot Yasel Punzalan Bunyales, DCPMA Voice. Keiko Cresida Kayanga, DCPMA Voice. Sandra Faith Frias de la Cruz, DCPMA Voice. Jinky May Jumamel Hadulco, DCPMA Voice. Hey Ju Jum, DCPMA Voice. Yuka Makapagal, DCPMA Voice. Kisha Joy Gubak Paulo, DCPMA Voice. Nelson Lalog Barongan Jr., BM Voice. Luis Grace Nightingale Tablante Meneses, BM Dance. Nika Dorothea Caniete Tupas, BM Voice. Mga nagtapos ng may karangalan, Isabel Enrica Nuki Eugenio, BM Dance, Cum Laude. Alisa Arian Limchu Laiko, BM Dance, Magna Cum Laude. Michelle Marielle Chua Mariposa, BM Voice, Suma Cum Laude. Leong Sil Rose Yoshida Panuelos, BM Dance, Cum Laude. Maligayang pagbati sa araw ng pagtatapos. Ako po si Antonio Maige, ang tagapangulo ng Winston Percussion Department. Mahal na dekano, lover de la Peña, buong karangalan ko inihahandog sa inyo ang mga magtatapos sa mga kursong Diploma in Creative and Performing Musical Arts at Bachelor of Music. Isa ang magkakamit ng karangalan ko laude. Mahal na graduates, ang pagtatapos ay simula ng panibagong paglalakbay naway maging makabuluhan at puno ng tagumpay ang inyong pakikipagsapalaran sa labas ng UP nating mahal. Kayong mga magtatapos ang maglililok sa bagong landas. Tumanyag, sumulong mga musiko ng bayan. Maraming salamat po. Nagtapos ng first semester 2020-2021, Peter Angelo Roque Chavez. DCPMA Instruments, Winds. Jason Santos de Jesus, BM Instruments, Winds. Jean Clarice Perez Petrasanta, BM Instruments, Winds. Nagtapos ng second semester 2020-2021, Kevin Punin Belen, DCPMA Instruments, Winds. Aris Rempilio Olivares, DCPMA Instruments, Winds. John Vincent Embudo Burgos, BM Instruments, Winds. Michael Nino Jolege Lazaro, BM Instruments, Winds. Hernan Mateo Manalastas, BM Instruments, Winds. Eunice Peñon Tejedor, BM Instruments, Winds. Nagtapos ng may karangalan, Lawrence Rocha Valenzuela, BM Instruments, Percussion, Cum Laude.
Mahal naming dekano, Dr. Laverne de la Peña. Aking kinagagalak na ipakilala ang nagtapos ngayong taon sa graduate program ng Kolehiyo ng Musika. Sa kanyang saliksik na pinamagatang Methodology of Three Philippine Rondarias. Isang karangalan na ang ating mga estudyante sa masterado at doktorado ay kinikilala hindi lamang sa Pilipinas kundi sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo sa kanilang magagaling na saliksik at malikhaing katahan. Kaya mga graduates, kayo ang maglililo ng bagong landas. Kaya tumanyag, sumulong kayo mga musikero ng bayan. Congratulations! Andrew J. Ocampo, Master of Music in Music Education, thesis title, The Methodology of Three Philippine Community Rondalias. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ang inyong lingkod, Luci Reyes Roque. Kumakatawan sa UP College of Music Alumni Association. Malugod namin kayong binabati sa inyong matagumpay na pagtatapos. Itaas natin ang ating kanang kamay para sa panunumpa bilang kasapi ng UP CMAA. Taos-puso akong nanunumpa na isa sa katuparan ng umusay at walang pag-iimbog. Ang mga tukoy na kaatang sa akin bilang kasapi na samahan ng mga nagsisipat tapos sa Universidad ng Pilipinas. Ipagtatanggol ko at ipagayahan ang kapakalan ng Universidad na aking pinagtatapusan. Ang Universidad ng Pilipinas at ipinangang ko ang magiging matapat na natapos sa Universidad na ito sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Pinili ko ang musika dahil alam kong gugugol ko ang buong buhay ko sa pagtatanghal, pagsusulat, pagbabahagi, paglikha, at pag-aaral ng musika. Plano kong ipagpatuloy ang aking pag-aaral ng musika at dalhin ang mga natutunan ko sa kolehiyo kung saan man ako mapadpad. I'm convinced that I am doing what I'm meant to do when I play music and when I play it with others. I also feel that I could work inside the field of music for a very long time, if not my whole life. Kaya halin tulad ko ang aking sarili sa isang paro-paro dahil ang naging transformasyon ko sa loob ng campus ang nagmulat sa akin bilang isang mananayaw at ang nagmulat sa akin sa mga bagay. Nais kong magpatuloy sa Bachelor of Music Dance dahil nandito na tayo. Bakit pa tayo rin? Ako si Bienvenido Clarianes Jr., Associate in Arts Music, Primary Concentration Dance, maglililok ng bagong landas bilang isang iskola at musiko ng bayan. Pagbati Sa taon ng Gawa de Cano, Pinaparangalan ng ating koleyo ang mga natatanging gawa ng mga magsisipagtapos na mag-aaral sa larangan ng pananaliksik, lingkod publiko, pagtatanghal o malikhaing pagkatha at kahusayang pang-akademiko. Dalawa ang tatanggap sa taong ito ng gawad dekano para sa natatanging pagtatanghal o malikhaing pagkatha. Una rito ay isang kompositor. Siya ang unang Pilipinong nagkamit ng unang gantimpala sa Asian Composers League Young Composers Competition na ginanap sa Taiwan noong 2018. Aktibo rin siyang kumakatha ng musika para sa mga produksyon sa loob at labas ng kuleyo, ilan pa diyan ay sa ibang bansa na itatanghal. Ang gawad dekano para sa natatanging pagtatanghal o malikhaing pagkatha ay binibigay natin kay Ryle Nicole, 
Kiliosa Custodio, Bachelor Music Composition. Sa pagpapatuloy, ay gusto ko muna magsimula sa isang kwento. Nga lang, hindi ko na maalala kung anong petsa ko narinig ito at hindi ko rin maalala ang buong detalye. Ngunit ang diwa ng kwentong ito ay siyang hindi ko malilimutan. Noong isang taon daw, kalagitnaan ng pandemya, ay may nagsabing sa isang ospital ay may nakita siya at narinig ang na isang napakahusay na mga awit. Nagbabantay. At narinig na itong mga awit na ito sa napakahusay na boses ay umaawit sa labas ng ICU kung saan nakaratay ang kanyang ama. Yan ang tunay na alagad ng sining Bilang pagkilala sa kakaibang talento at sa pagiging tunay na alagad ng sining, sa napakaraming nakamit na gantimpala, kasama na ang NAMSIA o National Music Competitions for Young Artists, ang SUGRI Competition sa Bangkok, ang workshop sa Gratz na competitive din ay iginagawad natin ang ikalawang gawad dekano para sa natatanging pagtatanghal kay Michelle Mariel Chua Mariposa Bachelor of Music in voice summa cum laude ang gawad dekano para sa pananaliksik para sa masusing pag-aaral at pagsusuri ng musikang popular sa Pilipinas Gamit ang mga teorya gaya ng kay Becker, Bauman, Timothy Taylor at iba pa at pumapaloob sa konsepto ng espasyo at modernong produksyon, ang sulating Exploring Filipino Urban Music Making, an ethnography of the Metro Manila Local Independent Music Scene na may maiaambag sa kasalukuyang diskurso sa larangan ng Popular Music Studies, ay buong dangal nating ibinibigay ang gawad dekano para sa pananaliksik kay Marla Isabel Hega Año Nuevo, Bachelor of Music, Musicology. sa natatanging paglilingkod. Siya ay kilala bilang isang matulungin at masigasig na mag-aaral di lamang sa kanyang departamento kundi sa buong kuleyo ng musika. Naging bahagi rin siya ng student council na umaasiste sa maraming aspeto ng buhay estudyante mula enrollment hanggang graduation. 
Ngunit ang pinakamatingkad marahil na contribution niya ay ang sa organisasyon ng UP Symphonic Band, lalo na sa mga pangunahing pagtatanghal sa loob at labas ng kuleyo. Buong pusong ibinibigay ang gawad dekano para sa natatanging paglilingkod kay Eunice Pinyon Tejedor, Bachelor of Music, Instruments, Winds. At ang magkakamit ng gawad dekano para sa kahusayang pang-akademiko na may GWA na 1.072 ay si Michelle Mariel Chua Mariposa, Bachelor of Music and Voice, Suma Cum Laude. Simula noong taong 2019, ang Dr. Adolfo Bellucilio Award for Academic Excellence ay ginagawad sa nagtapos ng may pinakamataas na marka sa kolehiyo ng musika. Ngayong taon, ang Bellucilio Award for Academic Excellence ay ginagawad kay Michelle Mariel Chua Mariposa na nagkamit ng GWA na 1.072. To our guest speaker, Dr. Sam Ang, National Artist for Music, Dr. Ramon Santos. To the College of Music Dean, Dr. Laverne de la Peña. To our College Secretary, Dr. Jocelyn Guadalupe. To the College Executive Board, the College of Music faculty and staff. To all watching and to my fellow graduates, good afternoon to you all. It is a privilege for me to be able to deliver this speech especially given the times we have had to endure in the past year. As we graduate and go about our separate ways, the College of Music has challenged us with the task of carving out our own paths. Na maglilok ng bagong landas. What a challenge it is, especially at a time when things remain uncertain and the threads of music making have been limited by the need for distance and the limited media. Oftentimes, upon finishing something we've worked years to achieve, such as our graduation today, we think of where we started and we appreciate the journey it took for us to achieve where we are now. But this call to carve out our own paths forces us to think beyond that journey. Napaisip ako, how in the world do we look beyond when we don't even know what the world will look like years, months, or even days from now. But I guess that uncertainty and the risks that come with it forces us to be more creative and helps us assert the value of our chosen craft and field. And as we have endured, so shall we conquer. Allow me to share some insights and experiences I gleaned over in the past socially distanced year. A few months into the lockdown, as a project under the UP Diliman Social Observatory under former Chancellor Michael Tan, I was tasked to take a look on how musicians were coping with the pandemic. This was inspired by an inquiry into collegiate athletes who, like us musicians, are in performative fields. With no avenues for live performance, it suddenly dawned on me. Does this mean my field is no longer relevant? What can I as a singer do in a situation of such magnitude as a pandemic? All the events and performances I've been preparing for were canceled until further notice. Looking at the responses 
to the social observatory inquiry. It was more or less the same aimlessness and lack of motivation. While we take the time to further refine our craft, in light of a pandemic, one eventually comes to think, what for? Ironically, as I asked myself that same question, I was starting to sing and practice after being unable to do so due to my father's death from COVID. You see, for a few months, it was difficult for me to even listen to or let alone create and practice music because it reminded me too much of our loss. However, once I started singing again, just for the sake of maintaining my craft at that time, it felt like I was a step closer towards whatever awaited me, to this new path that, at that time, was yet unknown or unthinkable for me. Of course, there were still many setbacks. The virtual and recorded performances just weren't the same. Singing along to a click track or minus one took away the magic of collaboration with other musicians. The idea of synergy in collaborative music making, which is one of the things I love the most about our field, is essentially taken away. But still, the music continued, and there must be a reason why. And so we go back to our question. What is music for? Where will it take us? And where do we go from here? Naturally, the answers to questions like these are usually in hindsight, but it helps to be reminded of why we pursue our craft. When you think of it, with musical performance, we give. We must be generous. For example, in singing, there is a paradox that when you attempt to conserve your breath, you end up losing breath faster, and you end up sacrificing the integrity of the musical line. However, if you are able to simply let that breath go without any unnecessary tension, then you are able to deliver the musical line at its full temporal and aesthetic value. That generosity allows us to contribute pockets of beauty, of relief, of wonder, of release to a world that is sick and grieving. For me, music as a generous endeavor towards ourselves our society and to our craft itself is more than enough to keep us going. And so I hope, as we carve out our own paths in our continuously changing world, we give, we stay generous, and we continue to be amazed with the big and small ways our generosity helps our recovering world and society. Mabuhay tayo mga musiko ng bayan. May the paths we create enrich our world as we continue to offer ourselves in service of our nation and of our craft. Congratulations to us all.
The reason why I chose music was because I wanted to find fulfillment in my life. After graduating communication at Ateneo, I realized I wanted something more, something close to home that I could do. Ako si Toma Kayabyab, BM Choral Conducting, maglililok ng bagong landas bilang iskolar at musiko ng bayan. Pagsasayaw ang aking passion. Sa tuwing ako'y sumasayaw, dun ko nararamdaman na ako'y pinakamalakas, pinakabuhay, at pinakatotoo. Ako si Jong Siu Rose, Waripan Melos, BM Dance. Maglililok ng bagong landas bilang scholar at mananayaw ng bayan. Naihahalin tulad ko ang aking sarili sa isang salita na may dalawang kahulugan, ang sablay. Ako may minsan ang sumablay sa mga daang tinahak, subalit nakapulot naman ang sandamakmak na karanasan at aral. So why UP Music? Well, I've always wanted to honor God for the gift and talent that He gave me. I've always wanted to honor my parents for always believing in it. Maihahalin tulad ko ang aking sarili sa isang sunog na handang gumabay at magbigay liwanag sa mga taong may madibili, malunungkot na katayuan. Sa aking pagtagtapos, itutuloy ko ang pagbabagi ng musika sa pagtatamalman at pagtuturo. May alin tulad ko ang sarili sa apoy na patuloy ang pagliyan para sa pangarap. Itutuloy ko pa rin ang pagtugtog sa mga orkestra kung saan nakamembro. The reason why I choose music is sometimes difficult to explain my feeling to everyone. I chose UP College of Music because, personally, I think it is the best music college here in the Philippines with the best music professors. May hahalin tulad kong aking sarili sa isang pangsalo. 
dahil sa aking natanggap at naipon na karanasan at kaalaman mula sa aking mga kaibigan, kaklase, profesor, kolehiyo at universidad na maaari kong ibahagi sa iba. Bakit music? Bakit hindi? <laughs> Bata pa lang ako, yun na yung isa sa mga paborito kong gawin. So, pag laki ko, doon ako napadpad. <laughs> Bagay, siguro lava lamp. Kasi makulay ako. At hot. <laughs> Ang plano ko after grad ay walang plano! Yay! <laughs> Um, baka mag-masters o kaya bumiyahe around the world. Huwag pwede na. <laughs> kaya naman maihahalin tulad ko ang aking sarili sa isang sanggol. Dahil tulad ng mga sanggol na walang samang nananabig sa mga bagong bagay na natutuklasan nila sa kanilang paligid, ngayon din ang aking nararamdaman sa musika dahil para sa akin wala ito ang katapusan. Hindi hihintong matuto at umalam hanggat may kaalamang maaari pang matutunan. Pagkatapos ko sa AA, aking itutuloy ang aking pag-aaral sa BM Choral Conducting at kung loloobin ng Panginoon ay itutuloy ko hanggang doctorate degree. Ang pinakasimpleng rason na masasabi ko kung bakit ko pinili ang musika ay dahil alam ko sa sarili ko na ito ang gusto kong gawin sa buhay dahil dito ako masaya. Nag-aaral ako ng musika dahil naniniwala ako na ito ang talento na ipinagkaloob sa akin ng Diyos. Nais ko lang po na gamitin ito para mabigyan ko siya ng kalutian. Uh, after graduation, I will spend time performing with my a cappella group and teach music to children. May yahalin tulad ko ang aking sarili bilang isang bulaklak na tanging mamumukadgad sa panahong itinakda para sa kanya.